what we have is a, um, we're going to take a SOLIDWORKS part and adjust all the holes on it to mate correctly concentric to an uh, engine block. Uh, this is an engine uh, bracket for a power steering pump. So this part was scanned, it was an original part, it was scanned, reverse engineered, redrawn, and all the holes were within just a few thou of being uh, correct as far as the OEM geometry. Um, so since we have that OEM geometry, we're going to adjust all the holes to fit uh, perfectly uh, to what they are. So this is the SOLIDWORKS part. You can see there's no feature tree, non-native. And um, yeah, take the part, save this part, get it, uh, so we get it named correctly here. Uh, and then we're going to open up the engine assembly and place the part on the engine and uh, adjust the holes. The engine opened up here. So there's the, uh, the engine block and the heads. We have a complete assembly. We're just showing a few of the parts. So we're going to get our engine bracket that we're going to adjust. Drag it in here and get it mated with uh, one of the holes. See there it is there. Drag this in. Made it to the uh, to the head here. Looks like it's uh, upside down. I'm gonna drag it over here. Flip it. Uh, flip it 180. Uh, and it's backwards as well, so I'm gonna flip a uh, flip that mated face over. Let's see. Flip it over. Or flip the mate, I guess. I'm gonna grab uh, the first uh, the closest two holes that were off were about two thou off, so we're gonna use those two holes as the base to align this. So we're gonna pick. Uh, Pick this first hole here and locate it on the head and then kind of freehand rotate the part uh, to the rough, rough location of where it, uh, where it sits. There's seven, seven holes that uh, will mate correctly. And they, uh, they're all drawn concentric already with the holes. Some have counter bores, um, and they're concentric with the perimeter as well. So what we're going to do actually to correct the uh, the first two holes that are uh, within two thou is we're going to draw a sketch between the two holes in the head, which are what we're using as our hole centers, and then we'll draw a second sketch on our uh, on our model or on our part. From our first good hole, and what we're going to do is make the, the two lines equal, yet going through the second hole. So we're going to locate center that to the second line, and then make a, a new hole location, and then make the two lines equal. So now our two lines are equal and on the same um, plane or uh, orientation as the original. So now we could use that sketch to align the bracket to our head. We'll take the take the bracket, show the show the sketch and the assembly view. Kind of rotate it out of the way so you can uh, align it a little easier. Hide the hide the model so we don't pick accidentally the the part hole because it won't align. So I will align it with the, uh, the sketch to the head, and it should make correctly because our two uh, sketches were equal.
So there our bracket is uh, basically aligned using uh, the first good hole and uh, a sketch hole. So there are, uh, there's a bracket um, correctly locked in place. You can see it, that hole is a couple thou off and kind of the others are just a few thou on, uh, on most of them. But like I said, we have the correct geometry so we might as well make it, uh, make it right. Pick a couple dimensions, you could see uh, how the holes are just off a little bit. First hole, I'll turn on the PMI so we can we can see it. This is just a couple thou on on most of these. Uh, being off, so the 17 thou there, um, something like this. You're gonna have to pick your best two to, I guess, orientate which ones you want correct. But the main placement uh, can be off just that little bit, so it wasn't too big an issue. Which which two we picked as uh, the main placement of the part. So what we're gonna do is go into the part. Um, or edit the part, and we're going to inner part copy the correct hole locations on the head. Um, so those four cylinders there, then uh, inner part copy two additional holes in the block for the two lower holes. So those are our inner, inner part copies, um, correct holes. We can uh, hide our uh, top level assembly now. So now we're just going to use the uh, sync tools. Right now our part is ordered so we get to transition the body and the inner part copies to sync. And we use the relate uh, the sync relate command to adjust all our holes, counter borders, and the perimeter. So it intelligently picks up uh, the counter bore as well as the perimeter because they are already concentric. So you can see all the blue is what is going to be adjusted. And those are all adjusted to mate to the inner part copy uh, block and head holes. See it adjusting all the blue features or what are surfaces that are moving to align with the correct hole locations. You can see how it picks up the counter bore as well and adjusts and moves it. Do these last two, you can see it move, move all the features, the surfaces. Move this last one, made it to the inner part copy. That's it. So that adjusted all the holes. Actually, I forgot the uh, original sketch, but I'll have to go back and add that one. So I basically Moved the holes, the counter bars, and the perimeter, and made er, and uh, made them concentric with our uh, proper OEM hole locations. We move the bracket out of the way, break the links and or break the mates, and we can realign it and check uh, check the holes. We'll do a second hole here, and you can see it see aligned uh, correctly. That's all the concentric uh, mates in uh, in synchronous probably quicker than editing a native.